the second area is we're talking here now about a reduction, um, perhaps 90 percent. Uh, I think your testing showed 93 percent. In the marine area, which may not be feasible for smaller generators, it's 99 percent. Is that going to make a difference? Well, one category clearly will make a difference is those people who have the chronic exposures. You could chronically get exposed to a generator um, that was too close to your house day after day, day after day. These utility situations would be a good example. Um, but the thing about most chronic exposures is they're not so severe that they set off the carbon monoxide detector in the body and say, we have something happen. Those poisonings can be very severe because they happen again and again and again. Um, they're not likely to ever get severe enough um, in this situation because the levels will be 10 percent of something that wasn't clinically recognizable as carbon monoxide poisoning. That's probably de minimis. We may hear some people who disagree with that, but I'm very familiar with the research in this field. I basically cross-examine expert witnesses and doctors, neuropsychologists, um, engineers as my primary uh, living and generally it's if these levels are um, well below 10 percent they're probably not going to be significant they may have some issues but it's not likely to be I would analogize it to the situation that we have in football the subconcussive hits in a career of playing football can wind up to be CTE but you're not going to have a career of, of those kind of blows if you drop the carbon monoxide um, emissions by 90 some percent. It's just not going to get to be severe enough to make a difference. 